Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Well, I'm back here today with the Logitech Hub and my Google Home. So we're getting right back into it. I'm gonna show you how to control your TV and or your Blu-ray or Netflix with just your voice. Let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna need the Stringify application on your iOS or your Android device. We'll start there and we're gonna head right in here and we're gonna go into the things section. Now, I already have my Google Home set up in Stringify here. You can see the icon for Google Assistant there, but I do need to go and find my Harmony Hub here. So we're just gonna scroll down the list and we're gonna run into eventually Logitech Harmony. And once we found Harmony, we're gonna click connect inside there and then we're going to use our Google account which we used in our previous video to actually log in to Logitech there. You have to use the same account as what you used when you first set up the hub. Now on top of that as per usual Stringify will actually give you a few sample flows here so you can have a look at those and you see the one at the bottom actually called TV time. Now, I'm not gonna use that one that's right here for us, but we are gonna create our own. Now, moving on, I wanted to show you some of the available triggers and actions within the Harmony Hub. So, you can start and stop your activities, or you can turn off all activities. Those are the different things that you can do. So, we know right off the bat, anything we've set up in the Hub for an activity, we can start and stop. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new flow here. And we're gonna call it Time to Watch TV. Now that's the name of the flow. You do not have to use the name of the flow as your trigger and I'll show you what that means. So we're gonna go and select our things here, Google Assistant, Harmony Hub, and I wanna bring in my Hue Lights as well into this just to make it a good experience overall. So we're gonna drop in our Google Assistant and we're gonna tap on to configure it and we're gonna say ask Google to run a flow. So now you can change it from the name of this flow to a custom word or phrase that's maybe a little more natural for you. So what I'm gonna write in here is TV time. Now the second thing we'll need is our Harmony Hub. Once we've told Google that, we want our Harmony Hub to go ahead and start an activity. Now, you could pick any of the activities, as I said, that you've already set up in your Hub. I'm gonna choose Watch TV and just hit Save there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll grab our Hue. Now, I've chosen one of my lights. You could choose multiple. You could do a lot of different things here. But I'm just gonna to choose to turn on the light here And then I'm actually going to reuse that thing again. I'm gonna select it again here because I actually wanna set the brightness of that light. So after I turn it on, I wanna set the brightness and I'm gonna set that at 25% here. Okay, so now really all we have to do is make the connections for this flow. So I'm just gonna connect from Google Assistant into the Harmony, from Google Assistant into Hue, and then between the two hues, because you want to set that brightness after your first hue turns on. So, and now we just have to enable this flow, and we're good to go. So now that's the time to watch TV. Now what I'm going to do is actually duplicate that, because there's a lot of elements of that that I'm going to use to actually turn off the TV. So I've gone ahead, I've duplicated it, we'll have to adjust the name here. So I'm gonna call it Turn Off TV. And now we've just gotta make adjustments to all the different components. So for Google Assistant, I wanna say Turn Off the TV. Now next, we'll adjust our harmony here. And what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to stop the activity that we had set up before. So we gotta go back, hit stop activity, we'll choose watch TV, and then we've just gotta hit save. Now in this case, I wanna also turn off my hue light. 
because I'm done watching TV. And we'll actually remove the last where we were setting the brightness in the previous flow. Now we just need to enable this flow and we're ready for a demo. Okay, Google, tell Stringify TV time. Sure, getting Stringify. Triggered the TV time flow. Okay, Google, tell Stringify turn off the TV. Okay, getting Stringify. Triggered the turn off the TV flow. Okay, well, I hope you've got that all set up here. If you don't, leave a comment in the, in the video comments here below. I'll be happy to help you out there. Otherwise, you should be able to control your TV with your voice at this point, which is an, a, pretty, a pretty amazing feat, if you ask me. Anyways, we'll see you next time. We're going to start getting into some of our Samsung stuff, our Amazon Echo, and a lot of the other tools that I showed you in our previous video. We'll see you next time.